Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luke of Parrot, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. In brightest day. In blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern podcast. I am Phil. Joining me as always, Master of the Core it is. I am Will. Hey, everyone. All right, kids. We're back to the present, 1998. That's right. (laughs) Green Lantern, 100 through 106, Emerald Knights. Because Will didn't get enough Hal Jordan in the last month. We needed more. More, more, more. (laughs) So, yeah. You know, I Hmm. think I mentioned it, you know, before we get started, that uh, I, I really remembered almost nothing of this except him, you know, the school bus scene. It's basically, it's not all I remember. The rest of it was, huh? I forgot he went to the, the watchtower. I forgot. I forgot all of that stuff. No. <laughs> well, it was twenty-four years ago. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So, <sighs> should we jump in? We got like seven issues. <laughs> well, no. Well, yeah, first, we- I mean, you were asking about any Green Lantern news. The only thing I saw was uh, I showed you in that uh, Dark Crisis World Without a Justice League Superman issue. Next issue is the Green Lantern one, but I don't think that's till like next month. So, yeah, and totally goes against most of the continuity established at the end of Green Lantern number twelve. But hey, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, not a lot of not a lot of Green Lantern news. Uh, yeah, I don't remember seeing anything again after Dark Crisis number two. It's been pretty quiet. Uh oh, uh, bu- 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 is it next? Wait, is it next week that uh, the John Stewart movie comes out? It was, yeah, Beware My Power. Is that the? I think so. Is the twenty fifth. Yeah, that'll be next week. That should be next week. Yeah, uh, I will. I shall check on that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, twenty. Yeah, I think it's twenty fifth or twenty sixth. Yeah, that's that's next week because it's the end of Ju- yeah. Next week's the end, last week of July. So yeah, there's something coming up on the thirtieth that I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> well, what could that be, Phil? What torture? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? The torture. Yes. What is the torture that's coming up at the very end of the month? Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> Catwoman? Yes. Green Lantern. That's right, because Little Hellfire wants your pain, along with the rest of us. There, there will be... Yes, there will be pain. There will be much pain. Pain! Uh, uh, it will release on July 25th. Hmm. July 25th. That's like a Monday, isn't it? I was going to say, that's Monday, isn't it? I thought they usually release those on Tuesday, but okay. I, yeah, that's weird. Very weird. Unless because of streaming or something? Hmm. Who knows? That's also, I think, when uh, the next season of Harley Quinn comes out. It's like the 25th, isn't it? I believe. I think it. Yeah, I think it's the end of July. Yeah, it's something like that. It's coming up. So yeah. That show is so freaking funny. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's get some Sinestro in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, according to this, Harley Quinn's in nine days. So, was it? July oh, 20. It is next week, July 28th. Oh, 28. Cool. Oh, yeah, today's the 19th, not the 18th. Sweet. Cool. Interesting, fun things coming out next week. Yeah, some DC stuff. Mm-hmm. Ah, all right. Uh, Let's well. do this thing. All right, yes. <laughs> we got a bunch of issues. Uh, Seven issues. One of them double sized. Yes, yeah, the first one, yes. <laughs> Because of course, yes, it's gr- it's divisible by five, by fifty, however you want to slice it, William. And yes, twenty five and twenty. <laughs> exactly. Yes, because it's Green Lantern Volume Three, Number One Hundred, from July nineteen ninety eight. In brightest days past. <laughs> and actually, that there hasn't been another Number One Hundred since, since this one. Yeah, no, because they never let it get that far. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, of course. Writer back again, friend of the show. This is Ron Mars. You are listening 
to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Penciler Daryl Banks, inker Terry Austin, colorist Rob Schwager, uh, letterer Chris Iliopoulos, and editor Kevin Dooley. All right. Uh, Cal Rayner. <laughs> Remember where we were at last, it last the month, kids? Uh, yes, Cal Rayner, was, after visiting the Legion of Superheroes, was thrown back in time too far in the middle of a Hal Jordan Sinestro fight. So, Which we think we know. Yes. On Wikipedia article as being Green Lantern, Volume 2, Number 9. Yes, that far, kids. Uh, By the way. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, bu- bu- Cal Rayner digs himself out of rubble to find Sinestro fighting Hal Jordan in his Green Lantern garb. Cal's appearance distracts Hal long enough that Sinestro uses his yellow power ring to cage them both. He then tells the Lanterns that he is going to kill the Guardians. Cal uses his ring to break out of the cage, and he and Hal agree to stop Sinestro. It's like, what? Yellow? Pfft. <laughs> Uh, the lanterns fly to Oa, where Sinestro has captured the Guardians with his yellow power ring and is gloating, twirling that mustache. That's, yes. <laughs> Hal flies in and begins fighting Sinestro while Cal gets the Guardians to safety. Sinestro captures Hal and places him in a death trap. Cal goes to save Hal and Sinestro escapes. Yeah, he's gonna hang him. <laughs> the Green Lantern Corps arrives and Cal tells everyone he is from the future. <laughs> Uh, after way to, blow the, way to blow that secret. <laughs> I know. Again, you don't think the Guardians could have figured this out eventually? <laughs> I, they are supposed to be pretty smart. <laughs> after his story is told, Cal and the Corps recharge their rings at the central power battery. Yay! Then they go after Sinestro. They capture Sinestro and take him back to Oa. Once there, the Guardians devise a way to send Cal back to the future, but at the last minute, Sinestro pushes Jordan through the time portal, sending him to the future as well. Uh, so. Timey-wimey, kids. I'm going to show you the cover to number nine. (laughs) Oh, boy. One moment. Uh, let's see. And we learned that, uh, yes. It's it's supposedly, story-wise, it's ten years in the past. You know, Kyle's like, somewhere right now I'm a kid and with a big, huge crush on Rebecca De Mornay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's the cover to number nine, right? Oops, on this side right here. Looks like they're blasting that. Hal and Sinestro blasting that power battery. That's right. Poor power battery. The battery's just the, no respect, man. No respect. Oh my. All right. So <laughs> I did. I did like the uh, them switching rings. I thought that was clever. Yes. Oh, and we got to see Tomar Ray. Yes. Which was cool. Was Kilowog there? Um, I don't remember. There was uh, like I thought Chasalon, but it wasn't Chasalon. It was a different one of his his people. I think maybe Chasalon. yeah. Well, and I was bringing up, I was bringing up the issues here. Uh, but yeah, I mean that was just the funniest thing the whole time. With just oh, oh, oh hey, the, my ring works against yellow, and <laughs> which which Hal and uh, Cal used to their advantage later on when they switch rings. Yeah, and then the uh, you know, him coming up to Ganthet and saying. Oh, hey, you, you're, have you ever thought about tying your hair back and wearing a suit? Uh, you know. <laughs> or Ganthin, who gave you that ring? Well, you'd be surprised, buddy. <laughs> you would be surprised. No, he shouldn't be because he's a guardian of the universe. Whatever. <laughs> and, of course, the whole, you know, Sinestro's going to kill the guardians. We've got to go save them because they probably won't defend themselves. And it's like, it's cow. oh, yeah, they are like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is a pattern, isn't it? <laughs> see 50 issues again i mean yeah, i mean it's crazy we're you know, over four years into kyle as green lantern by this point oh true yeah okay, it's already been 50 50 issues or so yeah yeah but yeah i think he mentions tomar ray um oh yeah kill Wog's there when the group's flying in through that hole in the cool. ceiling yeah i don't think he gets it like see, i don't know if he gets any lines but yeah he's there sweet <laughs> And to get the whole wrap up of how Cal got sent to the past. Oh, Graven and <laughs> yeah, uh, and then Brainiac is just being, you know, I want this guy out of my hair. Go, there's Green Lanterns in this time. Go, <laughs> go, <laughs> which is weird. Now, uh, not to be too much of you know comic book guy from The Simpsons, but <laughs> didn't we read a story not too many weeks ago where Hal travels to the 57th century? Yeah, uh, oh, 
that fifty seven or was yeah yeah with his with his ring <laughs> so that can travel through time but he yeah okay. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. Well, again, this was he. This was how Jordan from Green Lantern Nine. Maybe he doesn't know how to do that yet. Until he gets to you know fifty more issues or so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still. I mean, at this point, I mean, there aren't, aren't isn't that the whole gag? It's like you know, at this point, Cal has more experience than Hal. Yeah, I think so. Except Hal's been trained. Well, it's weird because do we count Emerald Twilight? Or Emerald Twilight 2 at this point. <laughs> I mean, did those happen in this continuity still? Maybe? Who I, knows? I know. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess there's no sense of pressure. They're just like, oh, the space-time continuum isn't collapsing, so I guess we're okay for fine. the stay at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Uh, so, any other thoughts on that, or should we get to the next one? You know, I, for a double-sized 100th issue thought it was pretty good i mean the art yeah. was uh who did the art again that was daryl banks daryl banks okay yeah That's, and it was a double size which is why i don't think he did the art i think jeff johnson and paul pelletier did the art for the other ones right yeah and i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to look this up i'm trying to remember the uh the next six might be uh, were they like bi-weekly or something maybe too so yeah i think so let me look at that real quick uh where's my link for the next one yeah because yeah, because 100 was exercised, and then, uh, hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, I think it is, because uh, 101 and 102 are both saying August, so. Gotcha. So, yeah, so, yeah, so not only, not only was 100, but it's bi-weekly. Yeah, so it's, a uh, it was kind of a big deal. I mean, Green Lantern at this time was, was doing really well, right? I, I think so. I mean, I think Kyle's still selling well, so. Mm-hmm. It'll be another... What? Issues? So, I was going to say six <laughs> years or so before we bring Hal back. Yeah. <laughs> We're closing in on that point, but we are not there yet. Uh, let's see. And again, modern comics would never. Cal started at issue 50. They would have renumbered that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and it looks like early August, late August, uh, early September, late September, early October, late October. And then 107, it looks like it jumps back to just November. And that's the one million issue as well. So, oh, so next week. <laughs> yeah, next week. DC one million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we get to the next one? You bet. All right, so yes, Green Lantern one hundred and one from August nineteen ninety eight, Emerald Knights chapter one, coming to terms. <laughs> Once again, Ron Mars, like you said, penciler Jeff Johnson, inker Bob Wyzak, uh colorist Bob. Shra- Rob Schwager, letterer Chris Iliopoulos, and editors Kevin Dooley and Dana Curtin. Uh, Cal Rayner has finally returned from the future, but a young Hal Jordan has been drawn to the present with him. While Hal is very excited, Cal needs to find a decent way to tell his predecessor everything that happened or rather will happen. Before Cal is able to explain everything, Hal takes off the coast city and of course is shocked to find nothing but vacant land and a statue of himself at what has become the memorial side of Hal Jordan <laughs> now Hal listen uh Cal uh, Hal listens to what Cal has to say about his future the destruction of coast city Hal Jordan killing the other members of the Green Lantern Corps and the Guardians of the Universe as well as Hal's final demise can I ask you a question about that sure killing the at, at this point the only Green Lantern that Parallax killed was Kilowog, right? Yeah, but wasn't it, didn't they always like technicality? It's like, well, when he drained that battery, you know, he left a bunch of lanterns powerless, so there yeah. might be guys floating in space and stuff. Mm-hmm. Which is weird to think about because the ring would still have a charge even if the battery, the central power battery was gone, right? Yeah, you shouldn't have, yeah, I mean, unless your 24-hour charge ran out, yeah. Unless you're, you know, quantum de- decomposing it like was in current Green Lantern stuff. Feed, anyway, yeah. feed, <laughs> feed, feedback? Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just found it weird that, you know, Kyle says you killed the Green you killed the Green Lantern Corps, you know, it's plural, or, it's not just you killed Kilowog, right? Oh, or is it more symbolic, where it's like you destroyed yeah. that battery, so that none of the rings work, so mm-hmm. you quote-unquote yeah. killed the Green Lantern Corps. And that, which leads into a really great, great last page for this whole uh, storyline, which we'll get to. 
Uh, yeah. How Jordan freaks out about the, the uh, all this news. He destroys his statue and then just flies away. Cal does not follow him because he feels that Hal has to come to terms on his own. And that works out well because after Hal saves a group of crippled children from getting run over by a train. <laughs> he get, Yes, kids. And he uh, gets his emotions in check again and returns to Cal. They decide to visit the JLA and try to find a way to send Hal back to his time. Meanwhile, here we go. Desaad makes Calabac think that now is a great, good time to attack Hal Jordan. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I, I mean, we yeah. Cal Calabac battle count what sixty one. Uh, Desaad, you know, captured him in what ninety one or ninety two. Now it's like, <laughs> hey, let's pull more crap. Let's, yeah, let's do let's do this again. I mean, and then you know we get Tom and Carol back. But then we don't actually see them again. I, well, that, they're coming in the next issue. But then, so it's, I don't know, this, it's kind of weird because how, like, hey, I'm just going to stay and hang out here and because I don't want to turn into, you know, the bad guy. But, dude, the bad guy saved the planet, okay? <laughs> exactly. You, you can't, you, you, time stream. <laughs> you pulled a bunch of crap, but you saved the earth in the end. Yeah. Um <laughs> I, I, was a little, I, I was I was a little bit surprised at just how badly Kyle broke the news to him. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was. Uh, I know. I'll just let him fly ahead, and he can, you know, find out for himself. You know, it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. He doesn't have a history of you know going evil or anything. <laughs> I know. I know. But you know, I guess I guess it worked out. I know. I'm like you. You, 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 should, you should have found the way to tell him. Yeah, right away. <laughs> or just pull the old hey. You, you probably shouldn't know too much about your own future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, as soon as I think I mentioned this, I had completely forgotten basically about how this progressed and then ultimately ended because I. Yeah, you you said train. all you remembered was the kids getting hit by the train almost. Yeah, yeah the, the train getting hit. Yeah, <laughs> or the train hitting the little bus. So yeah, uh, but you know. I think it was kind of, it made a lot of sense for Mars to have Parallax be the one, and the Parallax from the post Green Lantern 50 pre zero hour number five. Right? Yes, so, yes, yes. Right? Okay. Or no, no, number four. Number four. There was, it was five issues, but it went four, three, two, one, zero, right? Is that right? Four, three, two, one, zero, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so this, this ha ultimately we get that Parallax, I think. Yes, because he's going back in time. Yes, he's he's like, he was like I was coming back in time and I saw something that wasn't supposed to be there myself. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this is getting really confusing. <laughs> oh, wait till one oh six. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should we get to the next one? You bet. All right, Green Lantern number one oh two, August nineteen ninety eight. Like I said, I'm weekly Emerald Knights Part Two, old friends. Uh, again, right around Mars. This time, penciler Paul Pelletier. Yay! Our old friend Pelletier. So, I mean, yeah, they're bringing all the, uh, artists out for this. Uh, inker Terry Austin, colorist Rob Schwager, letterer Chris Iliopoulos. Again, editors Kevin Dooley, Dana Curtin. All right. Uh, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> God. Guy Gardner, Alan Scott, and John Stewart anxiously await the arrival of Cal Rayner to start their regular poker game. But they are shocked as they see that Cal is accompanied by a young Hal Jordan. I'm like, there's no... Should he call on the phone and be like, hey, I have a young Hal Jordan with me. Don't <laughs> freak out. should call ahead so Guy doesn't freak out and blow us off the face of the planet. Exactly. <laughs> then Cal quickly explains how Hal time traveled into this era and, their, and the other former Green Lanterns introduced themselves to Hal. But Hal feels a little uncomfortable in the Warriors bar and decides to visit some old friends. Yeah, because he had never met he hadn't met Guy and John yet, and he's like, "Oh, I've heard of you, Mister Scott." Yeah, uh, I mean, Guy didn't appear until his first appearance was Green Lantern fifty nine, I believe. I think, yeah. John's was what eighty five, something like that. It was in eighty five, eighty seven, something like that. So yeah, so he has. Yeah, that's probably another reason we did issue nine. So he's like, "Yeah, he don't know nobody." He. uh... I know he meets Alan Scott in Green Lantern 40. Yeah. You know, there's the big Earth 2 crossover thing in that one. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think he's met him yet. He just says, oh, I, I've heard of you. Yeah. Heard of you. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, he decides to go visit old friends. <laughs> so, yes, next we see Carol and Tom 
just finishing finishing and monitoring a test flight of a new jet as Hal approaches them. To Hal's surprise, Carol greets him with a passionate kiss and then confirms that he is really Hal Jordan. <laughs> And uh, what about that line she throws out? She's like, oh, I, do, I you know, I do like younger men. And Cal Rainer's like, yes. <laughs> That's a big spoiler there. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but see, it's in canon, kids. It is in canon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, the conversation is abruptly stopped by the attack of Calabac, the son of Darksa, another son of Darksa. <laughs> who intends to kill Green Lantern once and for all. But how Jordan perseveres, and after a short fight, Calabac goes up in flames due to an explosion of jet fuel. <laughs> Caused by how Jordan. An expensive explosion of jet fuel. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you could say it's either, you know, lose the jet fuel or lose the whole place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although Calabac survives, he stops further attacks and even compliments how on the victory. But Calabac also threatens Hal that he will return to kill him. Looking at his old friends, Carol and Tom, Hal suddenly can envi- Hal suddenly envisions staying in this era. Uh. Now, I, I will freely admit that my memory is obviously, as we've spoken about earlier, uh, <laughs> not the best. So you're, the, you didn't remember this at all? Does Calabac ever... Does any of this ever come back? Calabac? <sighs> does Cal- oh, does Calabac come back? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I if it's I don't if he does if he does it's a wow because uh, I don't remember like a big. Well, I mean, it was Hal specifically, so you know, I don't. You know, we don't see Hal again, not as a Green Lantern anyway. I mean, yeah, you know, no. The Spectre is coming. But yeah. I don't, that's like 118 or something, so. Yeah, I don't remember seeing anything about Calabac. I don't so think, yeah. attacking Kyle. I mean, it, it seems like. Well, I'm and again, I mean, we got crossovers coming up. We got, you know, DC 1 million, then Kyle's going off into space. Spoilers. Uh, then, what is that, Day of Judgment or whatever? Yeah, Spectre Hal. And then by 125, or what was it, 125 or so, Mars is going to be gone, so. Well, again, look, Calabac showed up in 61, then there was nothing until, what, 92 when the sod pulled his crap, so it's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, see, they make like at least... Month- about two years, give or take. <laughs> They're patient, man, I'll tell you. Uh-huh. Give that to them. But yeah, I love how, how just like streaks in. <laughs> yeah. Not subtle, just... <laughs> well, that that is certainly in character. Yes. <laughs> Early Hal Jordan. Now, I, I get the feeling that Hal's identity seems to be public because you know he's worried what the school teacher thinks. You know, don't you know who I am? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm guessing what it's maybe not his name, but everyone knows that Green Lantern became Parallax, maybe, or, or at least you know it, it's like maybe it became public when it's like, oh yeah, he sacrificed himself to you know reignite the yeah. sun and stuff. I don't know. It's just weird because I don't think they ever really come out and say it, and then it's completely swept under kind of the rug yeah. later when you know suddenly he's back to In, secret identity. Unless that's just how thinking. Oh, everyone has to know about you know how just yeah. thinks everyone knows about this. Be. But I love Carol kisses him, and he's like, he's like, whoa, he's like, in my time we were barely friends. <laughs> <laughs> but that changed pretty quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> Old love him and leave him, Jordan. That's right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Should we get to the next one? You bet. All right. Uh, sorry for flying through these kids, but yes, there are seven issues. <laughs> I'm sure we'll will have thoughts at the end, <laughs> especially that last we, issue. We will have thoughts. We will. <laughs> all right. Green Lantern 103, September 1998, Emerald Knights Part Three, God, Strange Bedfellows. <laughs> Which I think you take that as several, one of several ways. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ron Mars again writing artist this time. Jeff Johnson's back with Anthony Williams. Cool. Uh, two inkers, Bob Wysek and uh, Andy Lanning. Uh, and everyone else is the same. <sighs> Cal Rayner and Hal Jordan teleport into the Watchtower and are welcomed by the current members of the JLA, <laughs> excluding Batman. <laughs> Batman. 
My yeah. favorite character. Again, it's <laughs> it, we're setting the groundwork. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cal already explained to them how a young Howard Jordan got into this time era. Although the reception of the JLA seems neutral, they have agreed to offer Hal membership. When Hal quickly accepts, but Cal is disappointed because he thinks that the JLA no longer needs him. Flash tries to appease Cal, but he just teleports back to Earth. So I'm assuming what Hal's in the Justice League already bet by Green Lantern number nine. That original yeah, team, so because I think, so. Yeah, I, I think uh, he knew John and he knew Aquaman, you know, it's like, oh, you're changed, but yeah. Uh, hang on a second, and I will. Yeah. Check on that. But yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure because yeah, he knew he knew Martian Manhunter, he knew Aquaman, he was he knew Barry Allen, but he's like, you're not Barry Allen. Yeah. So what? So um, so at first I was like, why didn't he say, oh, it's me, Wally? But maybe he hasn't met Wally yet at that point. Okay, so um, according to the Grand Comics database, comics.org. Uh, Brave and the Bold number uh, 28 was in March of 1960, and Green Lantern number 9 was November, December of 61. So oh, yeah. He's yeah. already in the league. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm sure Mars did his homework. Yeah. Yeah. So, and thanks to the retcon, I don't think Superman was in the league at that point. So. <laughs> I don't think Wonder Woman it was. No, before. yeah, because, you know, <laughs> after Crisis, yeah, it was, yeah. No, Things got weird. No Batman and Superman. Black Canary replaced Wonder Woman, yeah. But then it's all back, so forget. We never said that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Cal, gets back, uh, Cal gets back to New York just in time as a skyscraper is rocked by a bomb explosion. Cal saves a lot of lives this evening, but the police are more concerned with the property damage he inflicted uh, with his actions. <laughs> I love that cop, and Cal's like, not today, you know, this is not the day to get in my face. Uh, angrily... You ruined my car! <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> angrily, Cal flies to his apartment and tells Jade what caused his bad mood. Jade is very appreciative, and after she assures Cal that he can always count on her on her support, they kiss each other! Bum, bum, bum. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that necklace has disappeared yet, has it? Uh, maybe. Uh, it's been months, he said, I think, in this issue, right? I think. No but word. I thought they literally showed it, like, dissolving. But if not, I'm assuming it's soon, if it hasn't yet. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it will be soon. Uh, so, yes, they kiss. Later that night, Batman appears in Cal's bedroom and tells him that he agreed to make Hal a member of the JLA to keep an eye on him because he does not trust him. Hmm, Batman doesn't trust anyone. Get out of here. Batman, my favorite character. Into the Dark Knight, all to do with Batman. Yep. Batman's paranoid. Get out of here. Yep. Uh, so what does he think? Does Batman think this is like a parallax trick? Or is he just like, oh, he went bad once, he'll go bad again. <laughs> Give him a couple years. Might be te- take him ten years, but he's going to go bad. <laughs> wait, wait, that doesn't make, that makes zero sense. I know. Whatever, Batman. <laughs> but again, I mean, it's a man out of time. So I'm, I guess you yeah. could just say, make sure he doesn't mess the time stream up. Uh, and Batman, they they really don't seem to be too concerned about the time stream. I, well, it's like, hey, it's, 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 nothing's happened. Nothing bad's happening. So I guess how it can stay. <laughs> and Batman also makes it clear to Cal that he is still the Green Lantern of the JLA, and that all members trust him with their lives. Oh. At least Batman told him. Yeah. <laughs> um, very special issue of Green Lantern. <laughs> but, oh yeah, kids, not only these issues are on the DC Universe Infinite app, but uh, I guess there was a Green Lantern Emerald Knights uh, trade, it says here, so you could probably get these issues for not too much. I don't think they are that expensive, so. Yeah, I don't think that they're that expensive at this so point. So, back issue bins, yeah. Yeah, back issue bins, eBay. It's been reprinted in trade, so yeah, these should be easy enough to track down. All right, well, not a lot. I mean, not a ton of how this time, but what you what did you think of this one? I don't know. I I mean, I understand what Mars was doing. I just felt like Kyle. I feel like he made Kyle overreact a little bit too much. Yes, you know, because he's he's been in the league at this point. He is. They fought white Martians together. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, and I mean, I, I you know he's. That, you know, it makes it clear that he's always kind of fighting the ghost of Hal, and then hey, wait, now here's Hal right here in real life. You know, <laughs> so yeah, it, it's 
it's interesting. I mean, I, I mean, it's not a bad story, but I think it's a lot of shock and awe. It's like, oh, look, young Al Jordan in the future. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And he knows his future, so something's going to have to happen to fix that. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Should we get to the next one? Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Green Lantern number 104 from September 1998. Emerald Knights part four and also Greener Pastures conclusion <laughs> part two because, yes, kids, I mean, we're not going to cover it here tonight. But, uh, yes, this was, this was part two of a story with that that started in Green Era 136. So now, wasn't that really close to the final issue of yeah 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 because i believe tech yeah yeah that makes sense because i think there was a 137 and then i think kind of sort of the last issue quote unquote was like one of the one like a green arrow one million i think okay and he started was he behind this green was was or was he was he a higher number than this green lantern series or a lower number i can't remember what connor yeah he showed up with Oliver in like the nineties, but yeah, he you know Oliver dies in one hundred and then he takes over. So, yeah, he yeah he hasn't been around you know he hasn't been around as long as uh he didn't have, he didn't oh, get so as many issues as Kyle did. Well, there was a nineteen eighty eight series. Was there a later series? Let's see. What after this? No, the, the I'm wondering if uh, no nope, this was the, this was a series. So, oh wow, one thirty seven. Yeah, was the final issue except for one million. Yeah. So wow. Interesting. I did not know that. So I was like, "Are we? Are we? Are, I didn't realize. Are we trying a fourth time for Green Lantern to boost Green Air? But it, <laughs> by this time, was it too late already? Because <laughs> yeah. Hey, we yeah. Got... So one thirty six was the crossover. One thirty seven, and then yeah, and then you got a one million issue. Yeah. I wonder if it went one thirty six, one million, then one thirty seven was the final issue. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll look. I mean, I mean, this is Green Lantern 104. We have like two more Green Lantern issues before we get the one million. So I'm 137 may have come before one million. It did. You're right. Uh, one million was the final issue of the series. Wow, that is that blows my mind. They they made the they made a weirdly numbered issue with giant crossover the final issue of the series. So Go ahead, throw it in. <laughs> that. Crazy. Unless they just had it planned already, so they're just like, you know what, we got it sitting there, just throw it in. Yeah. Hmm. Wild. That is that is wild. So yeah, so one thirty six was a crossover with Hal. One thirty seven was probably technically the last ca- uh, Connor issue, and then yep, Green Arrow one million. Yep. <laughs> and then it was then he was done for a couple years until Kevin Smith came in. Yeah, and um, no, I'll I'll. I don't remember when that was, but we know the reason it was possible was because of Parallax, right? <laughs> yes. I think it was like 2000 or 2001, I think, maybe. So, I mean, okay. yeah, I think it was like at least a... There's a gap. Yeah, there's at least a two, three-year gap. So, well, again, it's Kevin Smith, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <I sound> <laughs> uh, all right. So, yes, yeah, this is Emerald Knights Part 4, Greener Pastures Conclusion. <laughs> That's the title. Uh, Paul Paul Pelletier's back, kids. Yay! Uh, uh, and yeah, the team's pretty much this. Well, one inker, one colorist. Yeah, Terry Austin, Rob Schwager. Yeah. All right. So we got we have a young Hal in the future, so we have to do some retconning, kids. Years ago, Hal Jordan was a test pilot for the Air Force, but while flying a new bomber prototype, his co-pilot Hardy tried to take over the bomber, fly it out of the country, and sell it. Hal was able to stop Hardy, but neither can he prevent the destruction of the prototype nor the escape of his co-pilot. Unfinished business! <laughs> Screams unfinished business, doesn't it? I know. In the present, Hardy has returned, sold an A-bomb to the new Eden Corps, who <laughs> there they were kind of sort of responsible for the death of Oliver Queen. Oh, those guys. Yeah, yeah. It was like basically a bomb, you know. Oliver basically had to hold on to a bomb so it didn't like destroy Seattle and they <laughs> killed him, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Superman was on the scene and got microscopic traces of Oliver on his cape and that's how <laughs> Parallax brings him back soon. Spoiler. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> 
wait a uh, so That's how he brings his body back. He has to get his soul from heaven. Yes. For some how thing happens, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, again, Oliver was running around without his soul, and then it's like this uh, old guy was like doing like dark magic crap and was going to like take over Oliver's body and, you know, body Oliver talks to soul Oliver in heaven. He's like, you need to get back, you know, because Oliver's like, I'm at peace. You know, let my yeah, body I'm run sure. around. <laughs> but yeah, body Oliver's talking to soul Oliver and says, no, you have to come back or this guy's going to do horrible things with our body. Yeah. <laughs> but no, okay, so so... They never say it, but did Parallax time travel to bring Oliver back? Because See? Parallax is dead at this, you know, present day Parallax is dead at this point. Yes, but I think he started the reconstruction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back then. Because Oliver is dead. Is Oliver dead. is dead. Yeah, because in yeah. issue one, all, yeah, they say Oliver's been wandering around for months, like, like yeah. with amnesia and stuff. Yeah, 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 I know you're right. So yes, Oliver's already alive, but nobody knows it yet. Okay. Yeah, and I read the description of Green Arrow One Million. It says <laughs> Connor meditates to project himself into the future to see that Green Arrow is alive in the past. What? I, I do kind of sort of remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I understand what they mean. It's yeah. Like, well, well, because the, most of the Connor issues were like, "My father's alive," and it's like a lot of the issues are him like searching for Oliver, and everyone's like, "No, kid, he's dead. He's dead." So. Superman was there. You're not calling Big Blue a liar now, are you? <laughs> you got chunks of him on his... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, this Hardy sold an A-bomb to the new Eden Corps and helped them to capture not only Hal Jordan, but Connor Hawk as well. <sighs> the latter has a special interest in the new Eden Corps because that group is responsible for the death of his father, Oliver Queen, which we just talked about. Yep. Now, Hal and Connor are tied to the A-bomb, which is scheduled to detonate in Seattle. Again, but Connor is able to free Hal and himself. And while he tries to take uh, off the A-bomb, Hal is eager to fight Hardy, who also still possesses the Ring of the Green Lantern. As he did years ago, Hardy jumps out of the plane with a parachute, but Green Arrow uses a perfect shot to detach the chain, holding the power ring from Hardy's neck. With his regained power, Hal has no problem to catch Hardy and hand both him plus the new Eden Corps over to the authorities. Again, again, Green Arrow is coming to an end soon. We got to tie up that uh, eating course stuff. Yeah, you know, did this just feel? This just felt weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, again, were we trying to bump Green Arrow sales? But the end's pretty much here. So, yeah, I just, uh, you know, we have something called you know, this overarching storyline called Emerald Knights, and one Kyle's not even really in this issue. Yeah, no, I mean, did did it seem like with these bi-weekly issues, it kind of seemed like. Well, you know, well, they were both in 101. 102 was a how issue. 103 was more of a cow issue. 104 it was a how issue. And then yeah. the last two are kind of our big thing. Yeah. Our, it's, I mean, this, this particular story, you know, it seems very 90s to have a crossover in a crossover. <laughs> part four of one crossover, part two of another crossover. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's peak 90s right there. Yes. <laughs> Any more 90s, it would add a holographic cover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I, I. It was just basically, hey, let's let Hal run ragged over the DC universe for all, you know, young Hal rediscover the DC universe, which I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't show up in more books. I mean, he wasn't around that long, but I'm surprised. Yeah, it's interesting because did, did he show up in JLA? Uh, I, I don't, don't, think don't think so. Uh-uh. I don't think so. I think it was just, this is just the Green Arrow book, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, again, it was a small window because, like, the... Yeah, just three months. Except so. for, yeah, after one, 101 through 106 were bi-weekly, so it was probably only three months. So, yeah, it was probably hard just to, like... Very strange. I was like, wait a minute. I know. crossover? Yeah, oh, okay. Again, the only thing he crossed <laughs> over with was Green Arrow. He must need needed a help. <laughs> uh, later, Hal and Connor stand besides the graves of all... Beside the grave of Oliver Queen. For the time-traveling Hal, the situation is difficult because he has yet to become best of friends with Oliver. But he bets that Oliver Queen is smiling down upon them right now because his son and Hal have stopped his murderers. Except he's, well, I guess he is smiling down, but he's also roaming around amnesia. Yeah, half of him is smiling down from heaven, <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, the, the first page of the, well, the last page of Green Arrow number one. Yeah, they show me. He looks like homeless. You know, he's been living on the streets. He got the big beard, and instead of like a boxing glove arrow, he has like a detergent bottle on the end of an arrow. <laughs> I think that's uh, so that was Kevin Smith and Phil Hester. Yes, and yeah, that was that was a good series. Yeah, Phil Hester did some good work there. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they created onomatopoeia. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> who would later go? Who would later go on to a Batman miniseries by Kevin Smith? That um, I think what was that like two thousand nine? And Kevin Smith has yet to tie that up. That oh, massive yeah. cliffhanger. He has yet to <laughs> tie that up. Nice. Literally, he has someone murdered on the last page. Spoilers, and it's like he has yet to wrap that up. <laughs> that's only thirteen years ago, Phil. I know. <laughs> that's but well, I guess that's better than uh, Daredevil: The Target, which was supposed to be a mini series, but only one issue of it ever came out. So, and wasn't uh, there a uh, was a Black Cat series? Yeah, he did complete that. It took, I'd say, at least what two or three years. But yes, he did complete that. What was that? Six issues or something? Five or six issues? Yes. Oh, okay. <sighs> good old days the good old days yes <laughs> uh but yeah this was the first part of this was from green arrow 136 like we said i wonder if they had the green arrow issue in that emerald knights re- uh trade i don't know i would assume because how was there and it's part one of this weird two-parter let's see if i see what, as, as you read to the next one i'll see if i can find out that answer for you all right <laughs> all right so yes all right kids i think it's weird now just hold on green <laughs> Green Lantern number 105 from October 1998. Haunted by the past. Uh, writer Ron Mars, of course. Pencilers, Jeff Johnson's back with Scott Eaton. Inkers, Bob Wysick, and Don Hudson. Colors, Rob Schwager, letterer Chris Iliopoulos, and of course editors Kevin Dooley and Chuck Kim. Uh, all right, so this one we see Cal Rayner, the current Green Lantern, flying in the Warriors, which is completely destroyed. He was supposed to meet John Stewart and Guy Gardner to see some blueprints about expanding warriors. Uh, he, can, he can't find John or Guy anywhere, but here's a voice and removes some debris and finds John and puts him on a construct of a chair. Cal doesn't know who did this, but he thinks Sonar, Major Disaster, and Darkseid went on a rampage in the bar. They then find Guy behind the bar. He looks better than he feels, but his Valdarian heritage is healing himself. Cal asks both of them what happened, but Guy tells him not what happened, but who happened, and tells Cal that it was Hal who wrecked the bar. Guy tells Cal what happened. John and Guy were looking at blueprints on expanding the bar, waiting for Cal to show up and give his opinion. Suddenly, Hal Jordan suddenly pops up right behind Guy, scaring him completely. He tells them that he just wanted to talk. Guy and John think that this is the Hal that came 10 years from the past, but when Hal looks at the statue of himself and calls himself naive, John notices that this isn't the Hal that they know because this Hal looks older. Hal tells John that he's right and transforms into Parallax and attacks them. Wondering where the younger Hal is. Both of them attack Parallax, but they are outclassed. Guy then activates his Voldarian powers and attacks Parallax with their powers equally matched initially, but Parallax manages to defeat Guy. John walks up by the bar and sees his hands glowing with green energy. When Parallax again, when pa- Parallax is about to destroy Guy, John unleashes the power on Parallax, which stuns him for a moment. But Parallax just gets up and drains the remaining power from John. Guy then comes up and tells Parallax that he will tell him where the younger Hal is if he lets John go, which Parallax does. Guy then tells him that Hal is living at the Justice League Watchtower, but he tells Parallax that he has to go through him to get there and reactivates his powers. Parallax charges a guy and a huge explosion occurs that destroys the bar. Once the smoke clears, we see only Parallax standing. He then blasts through the ceiling and flies towards the Watchtower. Man, how petty, man. He could have just disappeared, couldn't he? Yeah, and I... I'm a little unclear. He wanted to just sit and talk and find out where he was. <laughs> you know, I, I don't understand. I wish you would have just talked to me because then I wouldn't have to kill you, but I'm going to ask you where I am. And what? <laughs> That's going to give it away? I don't understand. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, Emerald, that issue of Green Arrow is in the Emerald Knights trade paperback. Oh, nice. I figured. 
Uh, yeah, I, I was a little confused by this. Yeah. Again, well, we have to ramp up the menace of Parallax. Yes. Now that Cal knows what happened and where Parallax is headed, he heads off towards the watchtower and tells Guy to take John to the hospital. Cal is bewildered as to how Parallax can still be alive since he died reigniting the sun and what Parallax is going to do once he finds his younger self. Meanwhile, in the watchtower, Hal, young Hal, is looking at the stars when Martian, when Martian Manhunter walks up behind him and tells him that he'll be retiring for the night to meditate and that the watchtower, he has the watchtower all to himself. He also tells Hal that he's glad he's back and Hal tells him that he, he is as well. And he's, as he sees a streak of green energy heading towards them. As Cal is flying towards the moon, he catches up to Parallax and knocks him onto the surface of the moon. Parallax doesn't know who Cal is, but Cal tells him that he does know him as, that he, that he does know him as Green Lantern. But Parallax tells him that there are no Green Lanterns anymore. Cal is then told by Parallax that he's a time traveler from the future who sensed a disturbance in this time stream. His younger self had arrived in this era when he wasn't supposed to be and that he's here to return him to his proper time. Cal then realizes that this is the Parallax from when he tried to reorder the universe and tells Parallax that he should be the one going back to his time. But Parallax tells him that it is not an option and attacks Cal. The battle between the two is tremendous, but Cal knows that he can't beat Parallax when it comes down to raw power, so he decides to be creative. He then creates a construct of Kilowog, who was killed by parallax and green lantern emerald twilight just before he killed sinestro and the guardians of the universe <laughs> at first parallax is surprised to see his former mentor but realizes that he's not real and destroys the kilowatt construct and resumes his attack on cal cal then realizes that if parallax is here out of his time then so is the younger Hal. if the younger Hal stays in this time then he'll never become parallax and cal will never get the ring Cal also realizes that if Hal doesn't become Parallax, then Parallax won't reignite, reignite the sun and die, and Earth would be destroyed. Cal tries to stop the battle so that he can talk with Parallax, but Parallax sends a beam around Cal and strikes him from behind. Parallax stands above Cal and tells him that it's too late to talk or anything else except to find Hal Jordan, but Parallax is told not to bother as he turns around and sees the younger Hal Jordan charging, charging towards him. As the issue ends and the battle between Parallax and Hal Jordan continues in the next issue. I don't want to say we're pandering to Will Allred, but Hal Jordan versus Hal Jordan. <laughs> well, actually, there's something that I think is really cool that we're going to see. We saw it a little bit here, or maybe we didn't, but we definitely see it the next issue. But he never refers to himself as Hal. He always calls him Parallax. Yes. Which I think is kind of cool and certainly can be said to be laying the groundwork for what happens in about 80 issues <laughs> <laughs> yes oh okay i know we've we were trying to remember this uh because they, they remember he drains john's powers in this issue because yeah they were given they originally given them by parallax and parallax emerald night number one during final night now that the power is drained from him john is once again paralyzed and won't be able to walk again until green lantern 147 Wow, I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, so I forgot about that. So yeah, Parallax, you're a dick. Yeah, but then he's not. But he did it in the reverse order, so I guess he is. <laughs> well, from John's perspective, he gave him the power. Now he's taking it away. <laughs> from his, he took it away and then gave it to him. <laughs> Time travel. Ugh. I know. So yeah, so Mars will be long gone by the time John walks again. Any thoughts, William? Uh, That's a pretty good setup. I mean, uh, we knew it had to happen because you know Kyle finally realizes, but wait a minute, he doesn't go back, then he doesn't, and then... Uh, yeah, he has to become Parallax to save the yeah, Earth, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I would have thought that Batman, Superman, Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and list any other number of characters would have said, well, duh, he's got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, you think you would think you know who would have said, yeah, he has to Batman, my favorite yeah. character. You would think Batman would be like, yeah, he's got to die, kid. Time stream, <laughs> protect the time stream. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's like no one thought of that. <sighs> Killing me, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any other thoughts? Or should we get to the last one? Um, nope. Let's do it. The co with the cover of how Jordan beating on himself. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Whoa, man. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Green Lantern 106. That's right. We're wrapping it up. October 1998. <laughs> the title. Time's up. <laughs> uh, again, we're on Mars. Penciler this time, Paul Pelletier. Like him. So I don't think we had Daryl Banks was only on issue 100 then I guess for this thing. I think he probably and it was a double sized issue. Right? Yeah. So and again and again the, the six after went bi weekly so maybe they were giving yeah. him a jump on one million and one oh seven and yeah. So I think it's him in one oh seven. Uh, Terry Austin, Rob Schwager, Chris Heliopolis, yeah, Kevin Dooley, and Chuck Kim. All right. Uh, we see Parallax fighting against his younger counterpart on the Earth's moon with the current Green Lantern, Cal Rayner, knocked out after battling Parallax in the previous issue. Despite the fact that Parallax has infinite power, Hal Jordan is beating his counterpart furiously by smashing him into the side of the mountain and into the ground. Oh, he's giving him, he's giving him the old little hellfire. Smash it! <laughs> beat down. No! Uh, despite the fact Hal doesn't believe that Parallax is him but Parallax tells him otherwise he tells Hal that he's from the future he was traveling the time stream when he when he felt a disturbance in the force no, in the, <laughs> he felt a disturbance which was Hal because he doesn't belong in this time the reason he's here in the present is to return Hal to the past so that history can continue the course that it has already traveled on in the present time how knows everything that will happen to him after being told about it by Cal and blasts Parallax. After knocking Parallax out, Hal goes to Cal to help him up. But when he looks up, he sees Parallax standing before him, about to use his powers. There's a big flash of emerald energy, and we then see the three Green Lanterns in Coast City. Parallax tells Hal that he has frozen time to the point just before it was destroyed by Mongol in Reign of the Supermen. The reason Parallax brought the two of them into the past was for a couple of reasons. <laughs> he wanted to show how exactly what happened to Coast City that drove him mad and when he became Parallax. The reason why he brought Cal along was because he didn't want him involving anyone else in this situation. Essentially, it concerns no one but the two Hals. <sighs> Just thinking about his own pain. <sighs> shallow <Yeah>. shallow Hal. <laughs> <laughs> Parallax shows Hal around the city in that moment before it was destroyed. Parallax tells Hal that time will unravel itself if he doesn't go back in time to the era where he belongs. But if he stays in the present, he's guaranteeing that he won't become Parallax, which means that they won't be able to undo what has happened, including the destruction of Coast City. However, Hal doesn't believe him, saying that he doesn't want to become him and that he would rather become someone else than Parallax. The older Howe accepts the younger Howe's point, and both men decide that they will have to fight each other to settle the situation. So Parallax blasts Howe into a window, but Howe knows that Parallax can't kill him. But that's not Parallax's intent. He wants to send Howe back, but even if he succeeds, Howe will have the knowledge to prevent himself from becoming Parallax. Is your head hurting yet? <laughs> <laughs> Parallax then bashes Howe again, reminding him of his best friend Barry's death, Barry Allen, and how he can fix everything. But Hal reveals to Parallax that Green Arrow is dead, which stops Parallax long enough for Hal to blast him with a construct of one of Green Arrow's trick arrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what about Hal Jordan? Well, yeah, what about Oliver Queen? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, he's a, he hasn't even put that arrow in his chest yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Parallax manages to bind Hal up, saying that he has to destroy everything in order to fix everything that's happened. But Hal breaks free, declaring that he will stop him. Hal blasts Parallax into a pillar, saying that it's not his decision to fix everything, because he's only a man, and he's trying to act like God. But Parallax tells him that if no one else will do it, why shouldn't he? Then they are both struck by a beam sent by Cal, telling them to stop. <sighs> man, look at the synopsis. Parallax reminds Cal that it is none of his business, but Cal reminds him that it is his business because he's Green Lantern. He tells them both. He tells that both of them that he says that both of them have to return to their proper times. He tells Hal that he must return to his time. He must become Parallax, or else it could mean the destruction of Earth. Literally, Hal tells him that he doesn't want to become Parallax and is about to strike his older counterpart. But Cal manages to stop him before he can do it. He then tells Parallax that he will fail in his efforts right now to restructure time, but in his future he will save the Earth when the sun is extinguished and sacrifice his life for the planet. 
He tells Hal that despite his desire to keep Hal in the prison to help him adjust in his role as Green Lantern, the world needs him to go back. Hal tells him that he can't go back, knowing his future, but Cal tells him that he can with his Green Lantern <laughs> ring. <laughs> Boy, I wonder why Cal, why uh, how Jordan's been messed in the head before. Mm, par- uh, parallax, uh, mind wipe, uh, oregano. That's right. <laughs> it's quite the stew in there. For some unknown reason, Hal's ring has been able to do things cows cannot. Cal tells Hal that perhaps his ring can erase his knowledge of the future, and Parallax can do the same as well for his future. Cal tells both of them that the present hasn't unraveled yet, which means that there's still time for the both of them to return to their past and future respectively, and that there's no other choice. Hal agrees and gives Cal a hug, saying that he's glad that Cal is, contrib- is continuing the tradition of the Green Lantern, but he's still a am- amazed at his older counterpart hardly believing the actions that parallax has committed and what he will commit in his future but parallax tells him that he will one day the three green lanterns then combine their powers and they disappear just as coast city is destroyed exactly the same as it did in the past so if you looked up while as you're about to die in coast city you might have seen the three of them standing there picky ring <laughs> maybe I don't for know. two seconds at least we then see Parallax knocking Superman out with one punch. <laughs> Give him the old guy gardener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one punch. One punch. As he's restructuring time, we then see Hal battling Sinestro. Hal eventually defeats Sinestro by destroying his yellow power ring and reminds him whose power ring is stronger. We then see Kyle talking with Jade about what happened recently. In his time as Green Lantern, he's realized by meeting Hal, the Green Lantern Corps, seeing Oa, that his job as Green Lantern is much bigger than protecting just Earth or New York City, but the entire universe as well, and shows Jade a duplicate of the Green Lantern ring. Yay! <laughs> so yes, Hal's ring could uh, d- duplicate itself, so yes, he left Kali ring. Pretty hmm. cool, that can charge off of Kyle's battery. I need a new core. I got a powerless new yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Got, a, got a thing. Got a list of things to work on. <laughs> we'll kind of get to that in two weeks. So. Yeah. Because <laughs> Cal's kind of busy next week. Uh, uh, but yeah, the destruction of Coast City that was Superman number eighty, kids. So. Oh yeah, and it was dealt with in Super in Green Lantern number forty six, which yes. is where he stopped Mongol. Yes, when Hal comes back and it's like, "Where's Coast City?" <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <sighs> All right, William. Thoughts on this whole mess? Uh, it was. I feel like it had a lot more potential. Um, I mean, I wanted to see more of the core and and, and that stuff, but I don't know. This this felt a little unfocused. Yeah, you know, we had a crossover within a crossover <laughs> at one point. Which. It- Again, I think it was more like event than, you know, it's like, oh, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's like, ah, I guess we got to put him back. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's great to see how we we had a general idea that if it involved time travel, it had to be undone, you know, ultimately. So, I mean, it's it was, uh, you know, the art was great. The story was solid. So, And was this kind of sort of Ron Mars trying to, like, redeem how Jordan basically just, like, you know, if this how went through the same thing, you know, if, if this had, if the destruction of Coast City had happened to him on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday, maybe he wouldn't have become Parallax. You, I don't know. It's maybe a little bit of redemption because he made him choose it. Yeah. Because this, you have to do choose to be this. You have to choose to get infected with the Parallax entity, <laughs> and um, because if you don't, you know, the entire planet's gonna. Yes. It's going to die. And I don't know. I, I think that sort of works and sort of I, doesn't work. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent on it, I think. The, the hardest part for me was Parallax himself because it's kind of, you know, he's basically went along with this plan. Wouldn't he have been like, okay, well, now I know you defeat me in zero hours. So maybe I can try to, you know, fix time so that whole Sun Eater thing doesn't happen. Yeah, I... That does, you know, oh, I'm traveling. So he was in the future. Why was he in the future? He was uh, in zero hour. Time was eating itself from like the end of time and the beginning of time and just like gobbling itself up to the middle. Oh, 
that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because there was there is like remember because there we talked about it during summer '69. I think wasn't an issue four. I think. Uh, yeah, they show the year fifty seven oh eight, and they're like, "Oh, we know how right. we we know how Jordan's dark future." I'm like, "Why did you tell him a couple decades ago?" <laughs> exactly. But you tell him yeah. in like nineteen sixty nine. But then he sees himself, but then suddenly that gets wiped. And he yeah, he's on to where he was going. I mean, it's. They, I think they threw that in just so you didn't guess Parallax was behind the whole thing. It's like, oh look, young Hal Jordan got killed in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's it was nice to see Hal on the core again. Yeah. Um, and I think it, I think the real, I feel like that was the real kind of point of the story was mm. to get that and then get the ring. And yeah. I was going to say, so at this point, are we like, are they okay? Ron Mars or editors or whoever be like, okay, maybe we can start ramping up again and like start slowly building a core again. Maybe. I mean, it's still going to take them oh, yeah. quite a while. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think in 150, he gets like a new costume and then Ion. goes off into space. Ion. <laughs> yeah, Ion. And John's left with a ring. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. And John basically takes his place as Earth's Green Lantern and then the JLA. Uh, and then... Um, he resurrects Kilowog while he's in space. Yeah, Kilowog's ghost. Or, I forget. I, there's a, there's so much stuff. It's like, in the one, in it's like in the 160s or something, yeah. And then the he also get brings the guardians back somehow. Y yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a little like yeah, like little baby guardians. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's a uh, wasn't there a hardcover like the last will and testament of Hal Jordan? Or yeah, something? that's on our list. We're all good there. Okay. Yeah. And the specter. Yes. Yeah. Specter <laughs> issues. Yeah, we're gonna get to all of this, kids. And the specter's weird because his brother and his <laughs> no sister-in-law get killed leaving him with a child and then suddenly after rebirth the, the, his whole family's his alive yeah. sister are back and i don't and new 52 sorry <laughs> well i'm trying to remember i mean i guess we'll get there after rebirth but it's like we're both did, did they have two brothers were they both still alive or was it it, it was I, I i don't know things get i think they want i feel like during rebirth they didn't want you to think about they didn't want you to think, kids. That's right. They didn't want you to think about no. Coast City too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and the parallax stuff. Well, they they they, they literally rebuild Coast City. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, was it? The, I forget. Was it the Spectre? I mean, stuff. You know, Coast City literally gets rebuilt from the ground yeah, up, and it's there. We sucked yeah. the Valdarian DNA out of Guy Gardner. It's yeah. so yeah. It's basically just replacing everything that's been gone. Yeah, and I'd forgotten that. Uh, John was, you know, basically wearing a ring and being a Green Lantern, you know, toward the end of that run. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Because he, yeah, because he actually shows. Yeah, he's the, from that point on. Yeah, he takes. Uh, yeah, he's actually in the JLA book too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's. Um, I feel like this was the beginning of a a really really kind of slow, slow yeah. rebuild. Yeah, I mean we're we're slowly but we're ramping back up. Yeah, we're gonna start. He's gonna try to rebuild a core and. And we get uh, Circle of Fire coming up pretty soon. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so when he goes off into space, I think that's what he's doing. Or, uh, oh, no, there's a, oh, I know there's a new core two issue that's like a two issue prestige thing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I, 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 I think I have it. I don't, I, and I'm sure I read it, but I don't really remember what happens. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We will get there. <sighs> All right. Let me. Pull up anything else while I'm pulling up schedule? I, no, this was this was fun. Um, a little <laughs> confusing at times, <laughs> but uh, still fun. Ah, time travel. I mean, Bendis would steal this, uh, will steal that whole mind wipe thing when he brought the young X Men. Well, he brought the young X Men to the present, the original five. Mm -hmm. I think he was gone by the time they cleaned it up. But they basically gave them a mind wipe so they didn't remember the future. And send them back. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, one, they won't remember any of it until like their older selves get to that point. So once they send the teenagers back, all, you know, the adult Cyclops, everyone are like, oh, hey, uh, now I remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think it was just like a tell, you know, just Gene Gray giving them the old uh, telepathic mind wipe. Uh, yes. So, yes, as we said, next week we'll be doing a uh, DC 1 million, including a. Uh, Yes, Green Lantern number one million. So, we're getting a bunch of uh, Grant Morrison uh, 
goodness. All up in our head spaces. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Uh, yes, uh, the uh, 80, 80, 85th 80. thousand century. Yeah, it's 85,000 and something, something, you know. Something, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. They basically sorry. get the number. It's like, you know, <laughs> what year would it be if all these books hit like one million? <laughs> well, even farther in the future than you thought because they keep rebooting. <laughs> true, 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 true. <laughs> Legacy numbering, well. Yeah, that's right. Like, you know, if they hit a, the issue million, they're gonna they're gonna celebrate it. Come on. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Will the Earth still be here then? <laughs> ah, all right. So, and then in two weeks, Green Lantern one oh seven, which I when I believe he gives the ring to his girlfriend. <laughs> Not that ring. Not that ring. He did the Green Lantern ring. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, we'll talk Green Lantern three D and Green Lantern Annual seven. <laughs> awesome. Now. If I remember my rebirth right... You should. You read it every year. Yeah, I know. Green Arrow has a in-case-of-emergency break glass ring. Yes. Ring. Yes. Okay. So, so, I'm trying to remember. Did he give him that during Hard Traveling here? I don't know. Maybe after? I don't know. I'd have to... I'm trying to remember if it's before that, because I know there's one there's one arc in Green Arrow where he takes a road trip, and he like kind of like... Gets back all the stuff that, you know, got scattered when he died. And when yeah, I think that was one oh, of the, yeah. you know, because I think he gets his old pickup back. And, you know, I think, was it Roy Harper? Somebody's like, why do you want that old truck back? And I guess it was the one they took cross country oh, during that whole thing. And old timer. I'm trying to remember. I think the <laughs> ring might have be, been in the glove compartment. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. That's a cool bit of continuity that I did not know that they used for Rebirth. That's, that's fun. Awesome. Yes. We'll talk to you again, kids. We're going to get to all this, so. Come, keep coming back. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, kids. So, yes, send your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, follow Sector2814 on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, join the Green Lantern Facebook fan group. Uh, find all the links to all the various social medias for all the shows we do, DC and Marvel. Uh Oh, I've been, I've been slowly announcing this. Yes, uh, kids, if you haven't heard about September yet, uh, Lil Hellfire's taking a vacation. I, I I keep spreading the rumor. Yeah, she's going into rehab. She's got too much uh, summer of 69. So, uh, <laughs> yes, not – well, it won't affect this show because Lil's usually not on this show. But it's uh, for uh, the month of September for your Unlimited Justice, Justice League uh, podcast, Mr. Will Allred and I will be doing some Legion of Superheroes. So – you're gonna get, you're gonna get uh, two weekly doses of Will All Red uh, in September. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> all right. So yeah. So uh, stay tuned for all that. Uh, find uh, links to the YouTube channel. Everything we do goes on the YouTube channel. So <laughs> like how smashing his older counterpart, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a second of it. Smash it. <laughs> and of course, subscribe. Please subscribe to the Patreon again. Right here on our own. No core. Uh, paying for this out of our own pocket, every little bit helps. But three to five dollars gets you early access to creator interviews, uh, including the monthly Chichester chats with Mister DG Chichester. I got the good mic out for you guys, and of course, superhero movie brackets because Little Hellfire loves man pain. <sighs> and the July episode, will be, like Will said, will be Cat Halle Berry's Catwoman versus Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern with special guest. That's right, the man over there himself. I of course love Hal Jordan. <laughs> See if you can defend that Hal Jordan piece of work. Uh <laughs> Again, it doesn't. You don't have to say it's great. You just have to say it's better than Catwoman. Nah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll see. All right, kids. So yes, so uh, that all that and Capes and Lunatics merch. Find it all at Linktree. L a n k t r dot e e slash Capes and Lunatics. And speaking of being lost in time, follow Matt Kona at Matt Kona everywhere on social media. M A T T K O N A. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull him out of the time stream soon. I don't know, maybe like four inches. Fuck it, Miller. When he gives me his bone. Yeah. See you later, Bunky. <laughs> All right, Mister All Will All Red, Master of the Core, Master of the Quantum Zone, Master of the of this hugely successful Kickstarter. Where can people find you? <laughs> Uh, you can find me at Walred. That's at W A L L R E D. Uh, Gmail and Twitter and Facebook and other social media that I've probably forgotten. I've signed up for, but uh, you can also find out about Crossover Division, which uh, issue number four is currently on Kickstarter. 
And uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to crossoverdivision.com slash KS or slash Kickstarter. Either one will get you to uh, the campaign, which is, as Phil says, it's been uh, going really well. Uh, we still have about 10 days left as of uh, Tuesday, July 19th. So it's going to end on July 29th. And if you want to check out some other work by me, you can uh, go to Diary of Night at diaryofnight.com. And uh, that's with artist uh, Gene Gonzalez. If you want to hang out uh, and be annoyed by me even more, I am uh, co-host of a show called Explain Yourself with uh, writer Kevin Joseph, where we speak to uh, crowdfunding, usually Kickstarter creators, uh, who have uh, comics projects you know, live on the, on the platform. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they uh, you know, tell us what's cool about their projects, and uh, it, it is a whole lot of fun talking to a lot of other creators. And then, uh, obviously, you have great taste in heroes, so you love Quasar as well, uh, don't we all? And if you want to find out more about Quasar, you can go to uh, quantumzone.org. I'll put it in my navel. I am God. I, of course, love how Jordan. Of course, yes. Of course. All right, kids. Yes, come back next week for... We're going to skip ahead. Green Lantern 1 million. DC 1 million. Yeah, we went... The summer of 69, now we're going to the 8,000, 850-some thousand century. Right? Who are we, Cal Rayner? <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing all over the time stream. Uh-huh. <sighs> we're doing all of DC 1 million, right? That's four issues? It's four issues, issues yeah. 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 And then Green Lantern 1 million. Green Lantern, five, yeah. Five issues, gotcha. Yeah. So you had to do all the tie-ins. It was like in every book that... Everything got a one million. Including Green Arrow that was canceled. All right, kids. Come back next time. And remember, watch out punching yourself in the face. Good night.